Greetings, everyone. Well, today I thought we'd actually head over to the bookshelves because there's a couple of books that I picked up recently uh, that I want to do an update about. I've been meaning to do an update about them for ages because it's a pretty exciting acquisition, I think, and uh, you know, I'm pretty stoked about it. And uh, you guys seem to enjoy the look at the first volume of this particular collection, so I wanted to give you a similarly in-depth look at the other two volumes in the collection, which I, I picked up recently. Um, and that actually does complete the set. Um, I might as well just say it because I already kind of blew the surprise when I did the uh, the new Command Center overview. Uh, I am, of course, talking about the Conan books, the complete collection, the trilogy of books from Del Rey, uh, which is considered by fans all over to be basically the single most definitive collection of those original Robert E. Howard stories that you can get. Um, well, I completed the set recently, and... Uh, I'm pretty excited about that. I still have to find the time to actually sit down and read everything, but, uh, you know, I'm just glad to have them in my in the collection so I can now enjoy them at my leisure and don't have to worry about missing out on all the fun. Um, but in the interest of keeping the element of surprise to some extent, uh, Rosie and I actually popped into a used bookstore recently. She picked up a book. Uh, I can actually show it to you. She picked up this nice little book, hardcover book, of the small one Disney book and it's basically the story of this little donkey that ends up being uh, you know the 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 donkey that carries uh, Joseph and Mary into uh, Bethlehem you know the whole story of Jesus but from a very different perspective so quite cool uh, Rosie liked it because she just you know thought the pictures were cool and everything and she loves Disney stuff and and whatnot um, yeah, so as for myself, I of course went straight to the sci-fi section and found a couple of goodies there, uh, one of which I'd been looking for for quite some time and I'm quite excited to finally have in the collection. It's actually something that um, uh, is a replacement. This is part of a collection that I used to have but uh, was lost many moons ago. I'll, I'll tell you the story a little later in this video. Um, and the other was a collection, the first volume of a collection that, um, or rather a series of books. Uh, so it was the first book in a series of books that I had heard about for years, but uh, I never got around to checking out. But I thought it sounded pretty interesting. The first book was in pretty good shape, so I thought, hey, why the heck not? Let's let's check this out. And if I like it, there's, you know, a hundred more books in the series. It's like a Pulp Fiction type of series but uh, only the first 30 of which were written by the original author. So if I do end up collecting the series, it'll probably just be the ones by the original author and not really bother with the later incarnations. Anyway, let's head on over to the bookshelf and see what the heck I'm babbling about and uh, what we'll be talking about. Alrighty, this is absolutely not the uh, permanent setup for the books. I actually still have to reorganize things a little bit. So I just kind of shoved everything up here so it would all be in the same shot yeah the problem is of course the uh uh the command center for the computer is right in front of the bookshelf so there's really no way for me to just it's not like with the dvd shelves where i can just kind of plant the camera nice and far back and you see everything the bookshelves are kind of more off to the side behind some stuff so it's it's easy to access when you're just kind of walking in but it's not so easy to shoot like, as you notice, I just, I can't get the whole thing in one shot. Anyway, all right, so of course, here's the Conan shelf right next to Doctor Who, at where it belongs. <laughs> now, back a while ago, I, of course, gave you an in-depth look at this one, The Coming of Conan the Sumerian, or Conan, I think is the pro proper pronunciation, according to Mr. Howard himself. And then more recently, I picked up these two. The Bloody Crown of Conan, and the Conquering Sword of Conan. Can I maybe just get in front here and give you a better look? There we go. That's a little better. All right. Well, we'll get the music stand out and get a nice close look at these anyway. So we'll bring all, uh, all three of these with us because we want to get a good look at, at the whole collection. And then as for the new stuff I got, I actually picked up these. I got the Children of Dune, which is the third of the Dune series of books by Frank Herbert. Um, just to, I guess, I'll just get briefly give you the story now. I used to have all six of the original Dune books by Frank Herbert, and specifically I had these paperback editions. This edition of the first book, Dune, 
this edition of the second book, Dune Messiah, this edition of the fourth book, God Emperor of Dune. I think the one I used to have actually had embossed uh, gold lettering there. It was a slightly earlier printing, but whatever. And then, of course, the third book, Children of Dune. Now, all of these books have been reprinted and re-released numerous times over the years. And uh, sadly, the editions that I used to have are no longer available. The only way to find them is through uh, used bookstores and the like. Now, what happened to them was I actually had a box of books, comics, and audiobooks that mysteriously went missing one time when I moved. It was between a couple of different places where I lived in Winnipeg many, many moons ago. You know, the era of Multimedia Chronicles retro. Well, anyway, this box of books, comics, and audiobooks mysteriously vanished somewhere in the move. My Dune collection was among the many books that were in that box. And over the course of time, you'll hear about all the other books that were in that box. And you can experience the heartbreak along with me. <laughs> so it has been an epic quest of mine to get that six-book collection again um, in, you know, nice condition. The first book is a little bit creased because I've read it a couple of times. I have not actually read the others yet because I have yet to finish the first book. <laughs> I've seen the movies a number of times, but um, I just haven't got around to, uh, to uh, you know, getting, getting through the rest of the books. I will one of these days. Anyway, so this was an acquisition, and I guess that's really all the story there is to it, so there's not much point in including it in the rest of the update. So... We'll do a big thing about the Dune books when I actually finish the collection. So I still need book 5, Heretics of Dune, and book 6, Chapter House Dune, specifically from this collection, and then that will be complete once again. And then I picked up this one, Jack Adrian, Deathlands. Uh, most people who are familiar with the Deathlands series will probably know the name of James Axler, who was the name attached to most of them. Well, Jack Adrian was a, a pen name of the author who created, actually created the series, and James Axler was the pen name of another author who co-created it and picked up the series where uh, Jack Adrian left off, because sadly Jack Adrian passed away shortly after doing this, which was the first book in the series. Deathlands is essentially a post-apocalyptic sci-fi series, and uh, it was quite popular for a number, I think it's still going actually. Anyway, this is the first book, um, which is quite nice, and I like it a lot. Um, I haven't actually read it yet, but uh, I just like the fact that I found the first book in such beautiful condition. And there you can see a map of the post-apocalyptic world, and there, uh, as part of the insert, you can see a nice painting of some of the main characters, which is pretty cool. So, you know, for post-apocalyptic story fans, this is one of the ones to check out. Um, this particular series, Deathlands, has been running for about a hundred or so books. Uh, it's published by Gold Eagle, who has done uh, quite a lot of, of uh, you know, pulp fiction style adventure stories over the years. Probably most well known for uh, The Destroyer and, uh, of course, Mac Bolan, The Executioner, and the various spin offs from that. Um, anyway, this is one of their few forays into sci fi, and it's one that I'd always heard about because I used to read a lot of the Mac Bolan books back in the day and uh, wanted to check out. So when I saw this at the uh, used bookstore for like $3, uh, I just couldn't pass that up, especially when it's in such beautiful condition. I mean, this is this is quite nice. And this is a first printing as well. I mean, these only really ever get one printing. I mean, they're basically, you know, Pulp Fiction is kind of a disposable book medium. So if you want to collect them, used bookstores and eBay are your friends. Um, and I should mention the uh, Children of Dune book was also about $3, so not too shabby. The collection is slowly coming back together, ever so slowly. Hmm. I'm thinking I took a little bit too long to talk about the other two books, so let's save Conan for next time, because those two are going to take a lot longer to go through. So we're just going to call this the end of part one, and we'll talk about Conan next time in part two. And yes, as you can probably tell from my hair, this is being filmed on a different day. So, yeah. So until next time, thanks for watching, and sayonara.